Hello, 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 and welcome to Gungrave Gore. Um, this is a game I've been sort of silently anticipating for a while. Um, I used to love the anime of Gungrave. Um, I don't re actually remember a lot of it, like nowadays, because it was so long ago that I played. Uh, that I played it. That I watched it. Um, but I remember it had a super cool aesthetic, and like the protagonist always really stuck in my head with the giant coffin and the double guns and stuff. I uh, heard they were doing a new game, and um, yeah, I've been sort of watching it on the. I'm sort of. It's kind of flown under the radar a little bit, but been watching it. Um, reviews are out. It's kind of middling, it seems. Um, so, I mean, we'll see what I think of it. Um, but. Yeah, choice between the two <laughs> voice. Okay, interesting. I guess if you want like an authentic Italian mafia, then. <laughs> you can had, had do that, I don't know. Um, I anticipate that most of these videos are going to get copyright claimed, which um, sucks, but I don't want to turn the soundtrack off, so uh, we're going to just roll with it. And I'm probably going to shut up whilst this cutscene plays, so... This is a really cool aesthetic already. Okay. Um, so yeah, lots of this kind of music probably. Um, I'm going to have a quick look just in case there is a like... Uh, no, it doesn't really look like I've got much of a... Yeah, I might quickly actually turn down the... Just the master volume, just like... A, teensy bit so I can hear myself uh, think. Okay. Um, we're going to go on normal. My uh, name is Quartz, oh. and it's been quite a while since I met Mika. We thought the seep was completely gone, but that wasn't true. Mika and I met after the battle against that scumbag Gonpo of Raven Clan. Unfortunately, I could not catch Gonpo, and I got a severe injury. That is when Mika, or as I call her, boss, and I met. She saved my life. And that grim-looking guy, armed with a huge coffin and two guns, was next to her. And then there was the El Al Canal. This is the group that boss leads to eradicate the seed. I had to join the team since I owe my life to boss. Of course, there is also my personal grudge against the Raven Clan as well. So far, we tried our best to stop the spreading of the seed. Boss and I also found out that there was a seed refinery in Scumland. Scumland, or the island, is totally under Raven Clan's control. Raven Clan is a drug cartel ran by four bosses. They call themselves a corporate company, but we all know that they are the biggest drug cartel in the world. Yen Sen Boostmaster. Okay, I was just going to say he looks really cool and then his, his name there was a thing. intel that he was spotted in Hong Kong. He is a cold-blooded scum that likes to kill people with his katana. But for some reason, he really wants to kill Grave. Big Wu Shen. She is called the Witch. And she is also one of the four Raven Clan bosses. They say that she sings the Song of Death, but I'm not too sure. These rumors are full of lies, so people believe what they want to believe. Taranti. A damn old man. He just seems like an old man on the outside, but he looks suspicious. And watch out for the old man's walking stick, too. And then, there is Gonpo. I met Boss because of this guy. But, no thanks to him, my arm was injured. Although, sometimes, this arm comes in handy. Now Boss and that grim-looking guy Grave have head off to Scumland. They'll contact me soon. 
Until then, I'll have to keep an eye on the situation as well. You never know when they'll be needing my help. Okay. So we're taking down, like, the Mafia guys, basically. It seems. They're going to be, like, our four big bosses, probably. Um, so, a little bit of background. This game is set after some previous games, which I didn't play. Um, and I would guess it's also set after the anime, which I don't remember very vividly. I remember really liking it, but I don't remember it very vividly. So, um, it could be a little bit confusing at times. The story might be a bit all over the place. Um, and I don't know how long the stages are either, but uh, depending on how long they are, maybe we'll do a stage ev every episode, or two stages every episode. Uh, not too sure. Um, I've also heard that the difficulty spikes really randomly in places, um, so we could wind up getting stuck. I don't know for certain. I hope not, but we'll obviously see. Um, so yeah, let's just do it. Uh, stage 1, Big Wall. Quartz's Log number 1. Boss and I have identified that there is a seed refinery in Scumland that is responsible for sp the spread of seed. Grave, Boss, and El Al... No, no. Um, Can Hell team are now infiltrating Big Wall, the gateway to Scumland, to find out the truth about the refinery. That scumlag Gumpo who infected my arm with seed is probably there too, so big guy with the robot arm is probably going to be our first boss. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Ooh, pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> I've seen this cutscene. I've just remembered. <laughs> this is a good cutscene. It's <laughs> this. <laughs> I am such a fan of that. <laughs> so good. I hope the game like is as good as the cutscene. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, I thought we were gonna play. I was wrong. The site is clear. She's got a Dragon Ball Z scouter. We're going to be dealing with some powerful enemies. Okay. Right, so we're breaching the area whilst she does something behind the scenes, I guess. Okay. So, I've been told that... Okay, so R2 is to fire. Uh... Beat count increases whenever your attack hits a target. When you stop attacking, the flame will die out and the beat count will reset. By keeping up the attack to achieve a higher beat count, you will receive more rewards after clearing the stage. Cool, so there's like a score element to all of this. Uh, I'll right stick to control the camera. Navigation arrow shows the direction to your next destination. You can follow the glowing markers to the next destination. Oh, okay, and there's like a compass thing as well. Right. Uh... Automatically aim and shoot the targets within the targeting area. Targets close to the crosshair will be prioritized. This applies to both enemies and destructible objects. Okay. <coughs> Apologies. I'm told that this feels quite cumbersome. Mm, I would agree. Grave, watch out! Mafia gangs! Okay. So far, so simple. Uh, square is to dodge, okay, not a fan of that. Uh, R2 was dodging to do a dodge shot, okay. Nice move. Okay, I'm liking this so far. Is there any reason to explore? Well, you can jump, that's good. I actually didn't expect jumping from the way that this feels. But I've got to remember that square is dodge. The dodge shot seems a little bit blah. Crave, they're 
are too many of them. You're wrong. There are not too many of them. Um, so something I am noticing immediately. Um, oh, okay, circle is melee attack. Um, something I'm noticing immediately is when you push R2, that was a single press of R2. If I hold down R2, you still only get that. So you have to actually push the button over and over again to fire, which uh, feels a little bit cumbersome, unfortunately. Oh, okay, that's just a spawn room, I guess. Great, watch out! Upper level! I will say, this feels very satisfying, though. <laughs> Uh, you'll be protected from enemy attacks until the shield guide just depletes it. The shield will start to recover after you avoid taking damage for some time. Uh, okay, cool. You lose HP without the shield, you'll die once your HP is gone. Bam. Uh, there doesn't seem to be like a sprint, which is a little bit annoying. Um, so circle is to deflect missiles and it's like a melee attack, I think. So... Great. You can bounce those rockets <gasps> back. Oh, I did it. Okay. Thank God for that. That's going to take some getting used to. Okay, so we're going to have to... Uh... They're coming from all sides. Oh, okay. Okay, music. Okay. So the, the music seems to like cut in and out quite frequently. <laughs> Which is a bit weird. It's like, oh yeah, we've got some music for you, but the music's like, it goes on for like three seconds <laughs> and then it's done. <laughs> Um, that's like, um, it has Devil May Cry vibes to it, like the soundtrack, a little bit. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, uh, swing death, death holder around to attack nearby enemies. Okay, so the left stick moving and circle is to do like a melee attack but circle while standing still is to like deflect rockets and things i'm gonna mess that up so much great use your coffin okay i think i'm seeing the way this works wait oh god damn it i'm losing beat <laughs> uh, R.I.P. Raging Immortal Punisher executes stunned enemies with rip. Executing an enemy with rip will partially recover your shield. Press L3 when next to a stunned enemy. Uh, you can earn art score by using executions, demolition shots, and skills acquired from the lab, excluding Storm Barrage. Achieved art score will be reflected on the rewards after you receive that you receive after clearing a stage. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, okay. Well, we might as well do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just gonna kill that guy. They're coming from all sides. Yes, they are. Pretty good. I, I feel like it should go on for a bit longer at the moment. These fights are very Great. short. The doors. Oh god, wait, which way? Uh, okay, so it has a big compass. Why am I thinking about which way? It literally tells me. 
Uh, charge up Cerberus to use Death Spear. Death Spear can destroy enemy shields and you can continue charging whilst moving. Hold R2. Oh, okay. Uh, they have shields! Okay. Oh, okay, you have to wait. That seems to have some piercing, which is really nice. I'm really enjoying this, by the way, so far. It's quite simple, but, like, I actually have no issue with that. Is it going to charge? Yeah, I'm Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Oh, what happened there? This is going to get difficult, Watch I think. Out. Raven Clan forces! Okay. Uh, use the death hook to grab enemies. Okay. And R2 is to shoot whilst you've got someone grab. Or R1 is to throw them. Uh, okay, well, you can hold it to. Okay. I like it. More behind me? Nope. Oh. Yes. Okay, that's a bit finicky. What is he doing? Oh. Oh, I can't. Damn it. Wait, what is. There we go. Is there a guy behind me? I feel like there's a guy behind me. Okay. This is really interesting. Like, the... Oh. Uh, you can fire death hook at stunned enemies and execute them with rip. Uh, okay. Or you can chase and execute by holding R1. Okay. We'll give that a go. No. Okay. That's the way you do it! This is going to take some getting used to. Oh. Oh, they're dead. Oh, okay. Demolition shots are ultimate skills. You will recover HP when using them, depending on how many points were consumed. Uh, fills up by dealing damage. Uh, okay, <laughs> cool. So what do we got? We got... We did it. I really like the execution with R1. Oh my god.
Okay. I feel like there's still someone shooting rockets at me, but we're good. <laughs> uh, R2, R2, R2 while standing still. Oh, okay. Sure. All right, we'll get that again. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. So yeah, standing still gives you a different shooting combo. So this, um... Great, watch out for rockets! This is very, like, uh, frantic, I think is the word. Like... I'm feeling, uh... Oh, thought I messed that up then. Behind me? I'm hearing like shots behind me. Great! Watch out! Upper levels! Upper levels? Buddy. Get hit by a rocket. Oh god. Okay. We need to get used to this. This feels so weird. <coughs> uh, activate lock on mode to target enemies. Oh! Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay. Okay, that feels okay. Ooh. Nice! That's the way you do it! Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, this looks like a boss fight. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go! <laughs> Powerful bosses are waiting for you. Bosses might have different combat patterns. You'll need to adapt their attacking method in order to defeat them. I might turn the music down a little bit in the next episode, but we'll see. It's very, like, uh, full-on. It, um, it kind of numbs your brain a little bit. Not that my brain wasn't already numb. That's just, like, my natural state of being. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. Okay. So this is a whole thing. Let's do it. We're too late. Watch the penis alive. Take one of these. Okay. That didn't seem to uh No, no, no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh. Can I deflect, uh... Okay, thought I dodged. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's have another one of these. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> One of those. Nice. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Like, it felt a little bit, um, finicky. 
like, I felt like when I was pushing dodge, it wasn't always dodging. But I think that's because it gets locked into the four-shot combo when you push R2. And obviously, if you're hammering R2, then you can't dodge until the four shots are done. Um, so, okay, I need to get better at my clear time and stuff. But, um, yeah, no, that's really cool. Um, I'm going to call this a video. It's going to be a bit of a shorter one. And maybe that's how we'll do these ones. Um, so, <coughs> sorry. Um, first impressions. This is really good. I'm really enjoying this. This feels um, very arcadey. Um, can I go to the... Hang on, let's go to the main menu here. Um, if, if this feels very arcadey, and I'm not mad about that. I think, like... Um... Oh my god, settings. Come on, let's get that audio down. Uh, BGM. We're gonna go to 50 for the, like, BGM. Um... Yeah, no, this game feels very arcadey. It feels a little bit cumbersome, I would say. Um, I'm actually really enjoying the vibe of it, and I like the fact that there's a scoring system. So, like, actually, like, trying to master the game, like, has some merit, because you're going to be trying to get, like, a higher a higher score. Um, yeah, no, basically, so far, so good. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next one. Um, so, yeah, first impressions, good. Very, very much enjoying this. Um, so until the next time, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Farewell.